Hey, what's up guys? Gonna be casting this game between Train Station X here in the blue at 990 versus Cowie 3 here in the red at 1045. Um, I was actually just talking to Cowie. Um, he's actually playing Heraldic Beast, so I want to see uh, what build he's actually using, as well as kind of how the deck functions a little bit, because uh, I haven't really seen the deck too often. I, I get like a, a small amount of the concept. You know, uh, Leo um, is kind of like the key card. He's the... Uh, I don't know if you want to call him the Stratos, he kind of just summons himself. He's a 2,000 beater, and then uh, he dies at the end phase, and then whenever he's sent to the graveyard, he gets to search for any uh, Heraldric. And he's pretty good. Um, I think it might be actually level 4 lower. Oh, we'll see. I mean, I'm sure he'll come out into the play. Uh, the so we got sets from player in the blue. Um, I, I don't know, maybe Cowie could be playing a Light Swarm build? Yes, he probably is. Uh, looks like that is what uh, he's playing, so he's going to activate effect. Let's see if we see an effect mailer. I'm going to destroy that one. What? Are we going to see double? Because if you guys remember, I was talking about uh, Chain Dog in Heraldic Breast. Uh, so, I mean, I don't see any other deck really playing Chain Dog. So, this would be pretty hilarious if we see a mirror match of uh, Heraldic Beast. Because uh, I kind of want to see what uh, you would actually go for. So, he gets the effect of uh, the Leo, which I, I, I apologize. I can't check the graveyard. But, yeah, he gets to add um, Heraldic Beast from his deck to his uh, graveyard. Uh... I'm sorry, from his deck uh, to his hand. <laughs> from his deck to the graveyard. Uh, he's actually... Yes, it's Mirror Match for all the beasts. Success. Um, so you banish this card from your graveyard to target one psychic XPZ monster in your graveyard. Spotters on that target. Its effects are engaged. You can only use the effect of all the beast unicorn. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. I don't know if they're all psychic. Uh, so he, so he, took, he got that 200, 200 damage with Raikou. Um, interesting. So I guess Heraldic the beast, uh, they kind of take some time to set up. Um, what do, how much attack did the other one have? I wish I could have checked. But, um, 1600 defense. It's a beast, though. Maybe Horn of the Phantom Beast. So, he's going to go for a Monster Reborn. Let's see what he goes for, because I have no idea uh, how this deck works. But, yeah, Chain Dog, remember that card? It's pretty nasty. Uh, you have to control two face up. So, he's going to go for Mind Control, and then he can go for, ooh, then he can XYZs with it. Um, that would uh, take away uh, Abercron Way. I almost want to call this card Abercron every time. <laughs> Uh, okay, so he's gonna- it, No! Why didn't you special summon Chain Dog and make Shock Master and call it Traps? That would've been way better! Don't you guys agree with me? Maybe. Maybe he's got a different play. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait. Why would you want- Why, are you gonna really book a moon the Raiko? Because if you're afraid of the background, why not just make Shock Master? Um. W would've been much better. He has- These are both beasts, right? Oh! My bad. Okay, I thought- I guess all the probably beasts, there's, there's a dragon. That's interesting. I like how some cards- Uh, what is it? Uh- like Bryanak, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. No, he's a Sea Serpent. So this guy is activating Advanced Heraldry Art. So this card's actually pretty good. Uh, it just It's a one card, pretty much free exceed. Um, no real cost. Um, and you don't even have to exceed for a Heraldric um, uh, Beast like Monster. Let's see what he goes for. So he goes for Basilic. Okay, what does Basilic do? If this card battle. Oh, that's actually not bad. But it's after damage calculation, though. Uh, so he's going for, um, number- Oh, yes! This card's actually really good. This I think this card came out uh, in, uh, what is it? Abyss Rising. So, um, it's once per turn, you can target one phase of uh, exceed monster your opponent controls until the end phase. Have this card's name and attack become that monster's name and attack. Have this card gain that monster's effects. And if you do, until the end phase, that monster's attack becomes zero. So that's pretty good. Um, pretty awesome. Um... Uh, that's that's pretty awesome. And that was, I mean, he definitely made use of that that free exceed. Uh, I felt like Mind Control perhaps was activated a little bit too early uh, because that I really think that that's power card, especially in any mirror match um, of you know any game. Uh, but it's pretty cool. I, I like where this is going. And definitely something new that I've never seen. Harley Beast Twin Head Eagle. So he's a Twin Beast. Maybe he can attack Icarus attack. Another Abercron way. So. It just adds to your hand. It doesn't special it. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah, milling the, uh, the, uh, what is it? The, that Leo card definitely helped. And he's going to go for his advanced heraldry art. So <laughs> this is going to be pretty funny. Um, oh, let's open up Watcher Chat because, yeah, I think Cowie, would, I, I'm going to root for Cowie because he, he was the guy that I was talking to. And uh, so let's see what he actually makes. Maybe he's going to go for the 2400 beater, but there is technically three back row. So... Kawi, yeah, Kawi does have a card advantage at the moment. Uh, what is this card actually doing? <laughs> Didn't really get to check this card. So, you can banish this card to target one, exceed monster you control with no materials, and 200 of these integrate attached to the second. 
targets to the first target as his material. Oh, that's pretty good. So it's double of material, not bad. So he's, he's going for number eight heraldic genome heritage as well. Um, does it, until the, it's going to the end phase, right? Okay, and he's gonna go for an Abercorn way as well. So he's gonna go for the attack of that. Ooh, that's gonna hurt a lot, unfortunately. Um, maybe he's gonna be able to do something uh, later on. So yeah, I, I think, I don't know if Kawi is playing the uh, Light Sworn build with like stolen recharges. Maybe he's just playing with Ooh, and was, you can activate, what? You can activate multiples of these? Oh, wow, that is that is pretty good. Um, to no restrict zones on that. That is that can be pretty dirty for really any deck to deal with. So he's going for double dragons. I'm wondering what dragon exceed is there. Uh, man, is there any heraldic beasts that are uh, dinosaurs? Because you make a Lagia. Oh, okay, this is another card I've never seen. Lightning Plover. Looks like a looks like a water. Looks kind of like water. It doesn't look like lightning to me. But uh, Plover effect. So when the card is, you can target one. It's that card your opponent controls. Return to the bottom of the deck. Uh, once per turn, you can detach. Target one face up. Uh, so once X Y Z summon, you get that effect, and then you can detach one. Wow, that is the return to the top of the deck. Wow, but uh, Cowie does get the effect of um, Heraldic Beast Leo. This is the power card in here. So let's check it out. So during the end phase, this card was normal summon. Uh, this turn, oh, he's going for another hybrid away. Okay. Uh, so when it's normal summon, uh, it gets destroyed, and then when this card is sent to the graveyard, you get to add one Heraldic Beast monster from your deck to your hand, except for himself, and you can only activate the effect of him once per turn. Um, he's pretty good though. I mean, Horn of the Phantom Beast. I guess if you special it, won't be bad. So this card is that card is pretty good. That's basically a, a kind of like a plus, you know, one or two, depending on how you look at it. Uh, I mean, it is a plus two. Actually, it's pretty much a plus two because you get it for free. Anyways, and we see that uh, Heraldic, uh, or number eight Heraldic King Genome Heritage summoned. And uh, let's see what uh, happens. Um, the Mirror Force can hurt really bad right now. Oh, no, okay. So it looks like he'll be taking... Oh, he did he not activate the effect? Because he should take 24. Uh, maybe he just didn't want to because he wants to keep materials on it for some reason. I don't see why not though. Maybe just a slight misplay from Cowie. Uh, but I mean, I don't think that'll really. Ooh, another! Man, this deck is all about the XYZs and you could really just see how fast it can really go. Um, he, he can go for another one of those uh, that. Uh, if he had another one, was it Lightning Clover? That card is awesome! Oh, no. It looks like he's like. No, 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 make it. Um, let's see what he does. Maybe he only runs one Lightning Plover, because Lightning Plover would be nasty. You can send this back to the bottom of the deck, send that back, bam, 1900. Still decent, but, um, yeah, I really don't know how to... Ooh, okay, so I'm going to Ooh, and a Toronto Trim is activated, so... How do you made the other card? It's fine. Pretty cool, but, uh, playing the red is still at significant uh, card advantage. He's, right now, at plus three, and... And, uh, playing the blue used all of the Exceed... Uh, I'm sorry, not the Exceed, all of the, uh that a Heraldic card that basically special summons uh, two of them immediately. So, I don't really know if that is basically the, the main card. Oh, and a million of Heraldic Beast Leo for another plus one, uh, and it's safe to say. Um, is there any darks? I think Abercrombie was Wind, if I remember correctly. Um, but, uh, it looks like Lightsworn, he's probably playing Solar Recharge. I mean, if he's playing Lilas plus Aaron, he's probably playing Solar Recharges. Pretty cool, though. I don't know if you could see like maybe a BLS or something. Uh, I'm trying to think of what he could really do to come out of this because he needs. I mean, obviously, Cowie doesn't have anything. He didn't draw a single Leo, but he did have triple of those, uh, you know, quick exceed ones. That was, that was a pretty interesting game. So he had Burial, which I don't actually understand at the moment. He had a Valor, which, uh, you know, he drew way too late. Um, why did he just. Well, he said it would have went back to the death, but it would have protected him. But uh, I think Cowie, uh, he had Dark Hole. Plus, he had that. Uh, Heraldic card that bam special summon two and go for an exceed. So oh and a play remember how I was talking about attack or player in the blue is actually playing that. So that is pretty cool. Um definitely an interesting uh deck for both players. Um both playing kind of the same deck. Probably different variants. I think the light swan way might be the way Oh he's playing retort too? Uh that card is pretty awesome, because uh, um interesting card, especially the mirror match, but uh, this was just game one, but interesting duel. I think both players played relatively decently, uh, but the, the pluses with Leo definitely helps out. But Upon the Blue did have triple of, you know, free exceeds, and we got to see that lightning card, which is definitely uh, contender to be a pretty 
darn good card, I would say. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian House by Dragon, signing out.